These are the love songs of Nassau Grouper when they aggregate to spawn. This is what a healthy reef should look like in January and February in the Caribbean. But Nassau's are disappearing. Their future is threatened. The aggregation is the only time that the reef fish reproduce. If they can't reproduce, you don't have the next generation. If you don't have the next generation, you don't have the fishery, and you don't have the food, and you can't support the livelihoods. If they keep pushing Nassau group or catching them, it may be to the point where there's not enough left to spawn and they may lose that fish completely. They've got to come up with some plan to protect those fish when they're spawning or just put them off limits to harvest until they really recover. We need to act. And I think that's partly because of a perception that the seas are so big, there are so many fish that somehow we can't possibly be affecting them the way we are, but we are. The scientific evidence is undeniable. These big fish are running out of time. If we don't do something to protect them right now, we will lose Nassau Grouper forever. But there is good news. Recent studies show that with strict management plans, breeding sites can recover. That's amazing when you take the pressure off, some of these things bounce back pretty quick. Protecting breeding grounds is a cost-effective way to save this fish and rebuild its fisheries, supporting the lives of millions of people who depend on them.